In this video, we're going to be talking about cloud hardware. And, and specifically, we're going to be talking about cloud storage and the fact that it is basically storage sitting in the cloud. And what are the different types of storage that are available to, to purchase and consume as an end user or as a business? Really high level, let's keep it simple. There's three different tiers of storage. So let's start with tier one. So tier one's the fastest uh, storage available. Um, it's the highest performing. And generally, that's where you want to put your production you know, servers, desktops, whatever you might be hosting in the cloud. The physical disks are actually called SSD, sometimes also called flash. And basically, that just means that they're not spinning like a record player would spin you know, and, and, and slow down the access to the data. So when the computer needs something off the storage, it goes directly to the sector on the, um, the, 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 the platter, so to speak, and gets that data. So it's really fast. If you compare that to tier two storage, uh, tier two is a combination of SATA or SAS storage. Um, so serial ATA or, or serial attached storage. It looks like a record that spins uh, in circles and the computer has to get the data and wait for that platter to come back around to where the data actually sits. So it can be relatively fast. Um, sometimes customers will put just basic file servers, print servers on that type of storage. Maybe not like high performance database servers or, or desktops where the end users are, are trying to access data very quick. And then from there you have tier three. And you might say, well, why do you need a third option of storage? Well, think about things like backups and, and healthcare companies where they're storing medical records for you know, people from the day they're born till they're, till they're 19 years old to you know, basically um, achieve HIPAA or high trust uh, compliance. Um, there's a lot of reasons why data has to be stored forever. Um, no different than in the old days when it was on paper files in a storage unit. Um, which is the least expensive place to store them. Nowadays, the least expensive place to store those records are on tier three storage. And frequently, we refer to that as object uh, storage, or it could be even S3 compliant, which is an Amazon um, standard from a storage perspective. You might also want to know, well, what's the cost difference in this? So if you draw basic x, y axis here, and down here you have speed, and up here you have dollars, right? You can start down here as tier three being the least expensive and the slowest. And then somewhere in the middle, you have tier two, which is you know, medium price, medium speed. And then up here, you have tier one, which is the fastest and the most expensive. Um, when you're comparing different cloud providers out there, you'll often see um, people that are trying to win deals on price. And they may uh, provide you slower storage when you actually need higher performance um, just to win you as a customer and um, you know, try to upsell you into that higher performing storage later. You know, at RapidScale, we sort of go the other direction. We start with the highest performing with the assumption that you don't wanna, really want to wait and, and slow things down unless it's for backups or, or disaster recovery or something like that where it's not necessary to pay a lot of money for that storage. Key things to remember, different types of storage, sitting in the cloud, which is basically just a multi-tenant data center somewhere, different tiers, different speeds, different prices. And that was cloud storage.